DC to DC converter. All BEV and hybrid vehicles have two separate electrical systems. The high voltage electrical system provides current for the traction motor. The low voltage electrical system provides current for all other vehicle functions. The AC compressor on BEV and two motor hybrids normally runs off of the high voltage system. BEV vehicles have a PTC heater that runs off of the high voltage electrical system to provide cabin heat. The DC to DC converter is the bridge between the high voltage and low voltage systems. Low and high voltage systems. Motor generator. Low and high voltage systems. The DC to DC converter uses high voltage current from the HV battery array to produce low voltage current for the vehicle's normal electrical system. Inverter. High voltage. High voltage battery array. 12 volt battery. DC slash DC converter. Power distribution center. Low voltage. To ignition switch. To computers. To lighting system. DC DC converter functions. The DC DC converter does the same thing for a hybrid or BEV as an alternator does for a conventional vehicle. It provides electrical power at 14 volts DC for all of the lights and electrical accessories when the vehicle is being driven. Instead of being powered mechanically by a belt, the DC-DC converter is powered electrically by the high voltage electrical system. When the system is turned on but the ICE engine is not running the DC-DC converter converts takes electrical power from the HV battery and converts it to 14 volts to run the lights, heater fan and accessories. DC-DC converter operation. Step down transformer. Rectifier. High voltage battery current. Oscillator. 14 volts DC. Chassis ground. The DC DC converter is made up of three components. Oscillator. Step down transformer. Rectifier. Square wave output current. Oscillator. The oscillator employs a feedback loop to switch a circuit on and off several hundred or thousand times each second. The oscillator effectively turns DC current into AC. The current output of an oscillator will be a square wave. Feedback loop. Square wave output current. Transformer schematic symbol. Transformers are used to change the voltage level of an AC current. Transformers only work with AC current. A step-up transformer increases voltage, a step-down transformer decreases voltage. Transformer schematic symbol. Secondary coil winding. Transformers. The input of a transformer is called the primary coil. The output of a transformer is called the secondary coil. Primary coil winding. Secondary coil winding. Since the power flowing through the transformer primary coil is constantly reversing, the magnetic field surrounding the core is constantly expanding and contracting. The moving lines of magnetic force induce an electric current into the secondary coil. Turns ratio. If the primarily coil has 100 turns, loops, and the secondary coil has 10 turns the voltage induced into the secondary coil will be reduced by a factor of 10. 100 turns. 10 turns. 120 volts 1 amp input. 12 volts 10 amps output. When voltage is increased by a transformer the current, amps, is decreased in inverse proportion, when voltage is decreased current is increased in inverse proportion. Transformers. The transformer output is AC current with a sine waveform. Plus. Underscore. Rectifier The rectifier uses four diodes to convert AC current into DC. Diodes are one-way valves for electrical current. The diodes are arranged into a rectifier bridge. Current from each end of the secondary winding is connected to two diodes. Capacitor. Rectifier. Plus. When the secondary coil shown here is positive at the top and negative at the bottom diodes D2 and D3 allow current to flow through them, forward biased. 
Diodes D1 and D4 are blocking the flow of current, reverse biased. D2 D1 D3 D4 Dash Rectifier Dash When the polarity of the coil is reversed so positive is at the bottom and negative is at the top diodes D4 and D1 are turned on, forward biased. Diodes D2 and D3 are turned off, reverse biased, so no current can flow through them. D2 D1 D3 D4 Plus Capacitor 14 VDC 0 VDC After AC current has been rectified to DC there is normally a little bit of voltage fluctuation. The voltage fluctuation is called an eddy current and is minimized by placing a small capacitor between the positive and negative DC output terminals of the rectifier. Eddy current with capacitor 14 VDC 0 VDC Excess eddy current can interfere with the operation of some electronic circuits and can also affect the operation of AM and FM radios. Adding a capacitor to the DC output flattens out the eddy current. Battery charger. Step down transformer. Rectifier bridge. 120 volt AC input. The DC DC converter is very similar to a battery charger. Since the DC DC converter works off of high voltage DC current, it needs an oscillator circuit to convert DC to AC before the transformer steps down the voltage. Capacitor 14.6 volt DC output. DC DC converter operation, key off. Low voltage battery. Lights. HV battery. Horn, clock, etc. Ignition switch. Computer cam. Injectors. Fuel pump. Accessories. AC compressor. 12.8 volts. Hybrid control module. Control signal for master relay is off. DC-DC converter. DC-DC converter is turned off. HV power is turned off. MG1. HV master relay. MG2 Inverter When the vehicle is turned off the HV master relay is open. The HV battery array is disconnected from the inverter slash DC-DC converter assembly. DC-DC operation, key on, ice off. Low voltage battery. Lights. HV battery. Horn, clock etc. Ignition switch, on. Computer cam. Injectors. Fuel pump. Accessories. AC compressor. 14.4 volts. Hybrid control module. Control signal for master relay is on. DC-DC converter. DC-DC converter is turned on. HV power is turned on. MG1. HV master relay. MG2 Inverter When ignition switch is on, but the ICE engine is not running HV power is converted into 14.4 volts to operate the electrical system and keep the LV battery fully charged. DC-DC operation, key on, ICE running. Low voltage battery. Lights. HV battery. Horn, clock etc. Ignition switch. On. Computer cam. Injectors. Fuel pump. Accessories. AC compressor. 14.4 volts. Hybrid control module. Control signal for master relay is on. DC-DC converter. DC-DC converter is turned on. HV power is turned on. MG1. HV master relay. MG2. Inverter. When the vehicle running current generated by the traction motor slash generators provides power for the DC-DC converter and the HV batteries. DC-DC converter location. The DC-DC converter is normally located at the bottom of the inverter housing. 
high voltage battery input, low voltage output. The coolant flowing through the passages in the inverter housing removes excess heat from the DC-DC converter. DC-DC converter step down transformer low voltage plus B output. High voltage plus B input. High voltage, B input, DC slash DC converter. This Toyota Highlander has its own DC-DC converter that is provides low voltage electric current to the power steering system. 2006 Highlander Hybrid, Backup Power Supply for Power Brake Booster Low Voltage Battery Chassis Ground Connection AGM Battery The low voltage battery is usually a 12 volt AGM type battery. Conventional, flooded cell, batteries may also be used. Jump Starting if the headlights or interior lights are left on overnight the 12 volt battery will be depleted and the vehicle will not start. Current from the 12 volt battery is needed to turn on the mast relays for the HV batteries. A jump box or jumper cables to another vehicle's battery will provide the electric power needed to for the computer system and HV system relays to bring the HV battery system online so the vehicle can be driven. Jump starting another vehicle. Never use a hybrid or BEV vehicle as a donor power source when trying to jump start a conventional vehicle. Thousands of dollars in damage to the DC-DC converter and inverter could occur if a hybrid or BEV system is used to power a conventional starter. The DC-DC converter is designed for relatively low amperage, less than 40 amps. Operating a conventional starter normally requires 150 amps or more. Jump starting. If the LV battery is located in the rear hatch the hybrid electrical system may need to be energized from the underhood fuse box to activate the hatch release solenoid. Terminal for activating the hatch release solenoid. Jump starting. Once the hatch is open connect the jump box directly to the LV battery terminals. Terminal for activating the hatch release solenoid. Inverter cooling. Inverter cooling. The IGBTs and other electronic components require cooling. Mild hybrids that have single motor slash generator that has a relatively low power output can use a fan driven air cooling system. Full hybrids with two motor slash generators will require liquid cooling. The in liquid type cooling systems, the inverter and the transmission, share a common cooling system that has its own radiator and electrically driven coolant pump. Coolant inlet and outlet tubes. Coolant inlet and outlet tubes. Inverter cooling. The inverter is often mounted directly above the transaxle so coolant can flow from the transaxle upward into the inverter. Coolant passages are cast into the inverter and transmission to cook the IGBTs and stator coils. Coolant inlet and outlet tubes. Inverter plus DC DC converter. 144 volt battery pack air cooled inverters inverter plus dc dc converter light hybrids honda ima don't generate as much heat as a two motor hybrid so they can be air cooled the inverter and dc dc converter are mounted next to the battery array behind the rear seat inverter cooling system reservoir and pressure cap electric water pump dedicated radiator for inverter and motor generator image courtesy of Toyota USA inverter and traction motor dual radiator ice motor inverter and traction motor the radiator assembly is often divided into two separate radiators the upper radiator services the ice engine. The lower radiator cools the inverter, DC-DC converter and traction motors. Inverter, transaxle coolant. Inverter cooling. The inverter, transaxle has its own expansion tank and pressure cap. Inverter, transaxle coolant. Engine coolant, inverter cooling passages. Coolant out. Coolant in. 
passages in the base of the inverter remove heat from the IGBT modules. Inverter cooling system. Coolant hoses. Drain for inverter. Slash traction motor coolant. Drain for transmission fluid. Note how the transaxle has two drain plugs. Electric water pump. Coolant out. To circulate coolant through the radiator, inverter and transmission case an electric water pump is used. The pump for the inverter slash traction motor system uses 14 volt DC current and is controlled by the inverter module. Inverter cooling system air bleed. Bleed a nipple for inverter. Slash transaxle coolant. 2007 Prius. To bleed the inverter slash transmission system connect a small vacuum hose between the bleeder nipple and reservoir. Open the bleeder. Run the inverter pump until no air bubbles are seen at the end of the hose. The coolant type used by the inverter slash traction motor is the same as used in the ice cooling system, a 50-50 solution of 5-year antifreeze and water. The coolant level should be between the L and F line on the reservoir. Inverter coolant. F line. L line. Topping off inverter coolant. Most manufacturers recommend that service technicians do not top off the inverter coolant during routine service checks. Topping off the coolant will mask a slow leak in the system. A fluid level sensor in the reservoir will trigger a warning light to alert the driver when the coolant level is too low. If the coolant is constantly topped off the warning light will not turn on until the slow leak becomes a big leak. Inverter service Inverter R and R. Since the inverter often is located above the transmission, you may need to remove it to service the engine, transmission, ABS controller, or the steering rack. Removal of the inverter normally involves disconnecting the HV battery service plug, draining inverter coolant, disconnecting the coolant hoses, disconnecting HVDC and three phase electrical cables. Disconnecting low voltage electrical connectors. Disconnecting the inverter from its mounting brackets, to gain access to the rear of the inverter housing the wiper motor and wiper transmission had to be removed on this vehicle. Inverter R and R. With the wiper transmission removed the components at the rear of the engine compartment are easily accessible. Inverter R and R. The plastic trim panel has also been removed for access to the front of the inverter. Remove service plug make sure the vehicle is turned off. Using HV rubber gloves remove the service plug. On this Prius the loop at the top of the plug is pulled up first, then arm on the service plug is rotated 90 counterclockwise. Safety plug A safety plug is incorporated into the inverter cover. The safety plug is in series with the HV battery master relay control circuit. If the inverter cover is removed the master relay will turn off automatically. Safety plug. Allow 5 minutes for the capacitors to drain and then check for voltage between the two HV battery terminals. Test for voltage. HV battery terminals. Safety plug connector. 3 phase cables. Three phase cables for the traction motor S are connected to the bus bars with 6 mm bolts. Threaded cable end terminals. Some three phase cable have threaded terminal ends. Two wire connectors. Two wire HV connectors for the AC compressor normally have a push on type connector. A lock tab is used to prevent the connector loosening. HV battery cables. The HV battery cables may also use a push on type connector. Inverter storage. After removing the inverter, the cover S should be reinstalled and any openings for cables should be covered with tape to prevent dust from contaminating the internal components. Image courtesy of Toyota USA.